Wir sind gerade bei Robert Matchmore. Und ähm, er hat zum Beispiel die Top Secret Reihe herausgebracht. Sein neues Buch ist Rockwall. Und wir ähm, wollen jetzt einfach noch mal kurz mit ihm über seine letzten Werke sprechen. Mr. Muchmore, um, just starting about the Cherub series, um, I've heard you were a um, personal investigator before. Is, isn't that right? That's right. Um, my job in Britain before I became a writer was uh, I used to track down missing heirs and beneficiaries. So if somebody died and you couldn't find who was entitled to their money, my job was to actually go and trace their family history and find them and knock on neighbors' doors and ask about their lives and things like that. So, uh, so that was an interesting job. Oh, I think so. And um, did it help you to write your cherub novels? Because I think it's about um, yeah, the secret service of Britain. Uh, yeah. That's right. Um, I used to work with quite a lot of ex-police officers. It was a job that was very often done by policemen. And I always used to find it really useful because if I wanted to know something about drug dealers or crime or court procedures or something like that, it was always really good to ask my colleagues and things like that. So, uh, yeah, I was surrounded by lots of people who had lots of really useful knowledge from, uh, from my books. Oh, that's cool. And um, did you take some parts of your real life into the books? I always find it actually very hard to take things from real life into books because, you know, it's a bit like when you watch a TV show, you know, the cop is always running around and they solve the crime single-handed. And real life is actually a bit more boring than that. It's Everything's a bit slower. Um, so uh, I think really uh, it's pretty much invented my books. It's very hard to take things from real life. Okay, thank you. And um, now on the Frankfurt Book Fair, you're presenting your new book, The Rock War. Um, what is it about? So Rock War is about uh, groups of kids who want to be rock stars uh, and the idea is they all go into this TV talent show for rock bands and uh, it follows four main characters and at the start of the series they're just ordinary kids going to school, living their lives and at the end of the series, which is going to be four books long, uh, one of these kids is going to be a massive rock star and some of them are going to face having to go back to their ordinary lives. Well, that sounds cool and um, it's quite a different thing. Um in comparison to Top Secret or the Terror series. So why did you change um, the subject? Well, I guess when you think in terms of genre, it's not a thriller like my Cherub books, but I always say uh, Cherub is really a fantasy for kids about, you know, uh, that you could go out and you could become a spy. And Rock War is really a fantasy for kids about, you know, you could go out and you could become a rock star. So it's a different genre, but I actually think it's very much the same. Okay, and um, in English there are published some prequels to the Cherub series. Um, do you know if they will come out in Germany? Um, well, the Henderson's Boys series is set during World War II, um, and for obvious reasons that can be a fairly sensitive issue in Germany. So, so far, my German publisher has never been particularly keen on publishing it, but uh, they're more than welcome to as far as I'm concerned, and I know quite a lot of my German fans would quite like to read it as well. Okay, and um, do you work on another project right now? Uh, well, I've got uh, Cherub is still ongoing and I've got Rock War that I'm writing, so uh, I think two series is enough to keep me busy for now. Okay, then thank you for your time and for this interview, and it was really, really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much.